Now, I want you to watch Joe Biden give his speech. I just gave you the highlights right here. I just chopped the most important parts. First, let's talk about this guy who, I understand science. I listen to experts. He starts his speech coughing. That is a great metaphor for his presidency. <coughs> Hello, American people. <coughs> <coughs> Weren't we taught to cough like this, to wear a mask, to get multiple boosts? All of this is out the window. My fellow Americans, <coughs> please, if you have a seat, take it. I speak to you tonight <coughs> from, <coughs> from sacred ground in America, Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is where America made its declaration of independence to the world more than two centuries ago <clears throat> with an, <clears throat> an <clears throat> idea unique among nations. So that was the most important takeaway from his speech, that after three years of lectures about coughing and masks, and if you're sick, stay home, he's had covid three different times in the last month. His wife has got it twice. They keep infecting the nation. Their boosty boost have not worked for them and they still go out, shake everyone's hands. They're not wearing masks. They cough into their hands. This is the party of trust the science. With that said, Joe Biden finally found someone dumber than him to speak eloquently on his behalf. Now, at first I thought she was a horrible choice. Jeanine Karine Jean-Pierre. If you don't know Karine Jean-Pierre, She's a diversity hire. She was hired only for her genitals, her sexuality, and her color. She's not doing a good job answering questions. And finally, anyone that asks her a real question, not the sycophantic press who's like, you're so smart and funny. How do you do it? No, there's a guy named Peter Ducey. He asks actual questions, pinning Democrats into a corner. There's only one true reporter in the whole press pool of 40 or 50 fake losers, and it's this guy and she crumbles under the pressure. Watch. MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution. They do not believe in the rule of law. They do not recognize the will of the people. They refuse to accept the results of a free election. A follow-up about the MAGA Republican attention. So, if we're all in agreement that it is incorrect to say the 2020 election was stolen, what about the 2016 election? I'm not going to go back to where we were or what happened in 2016. We're going to focus on the here and now. We're going to focus on what's happening today, uh, this inflection point that the president pointed out uh, very clearly, very decisively uh, in, in a few speeches about what the country needs to do at this time to bring the country together. And he believes that's where majority of Americans are when it comes to protecting our democracy, when it comes to protecting our rights, and when it comes to protecting our freedoms. That's what we're going to talk about about, that's what we're going to focus on, on where we are at today. But, but just in trying to understand the new attention on the MAGA Republicans, you tweeted in 2016, oh, I knew this Trump was stole an oh. election. You I was tweeted, waiting, Peter, when you were going to ask me that question. Well, great. here we go. <laughs> you tweeted Trump stole an election. They refused to accept the results of a free election. You tweeted Brian Kemp stole an election. If denying election results yeah. is extreme now. Yeah. So let's let's be really clear that that comparison that you made is just ridiculous. Uh, I have been I have ridiculous. been well. You're asking me you're asking me a question. Yes. Let me answer it. And you said it's ridiculous. I was I was talking specifically at that time of what was happening with voting rights and the what was in danger of voting rights. I refuse to accept the results of a free election. Do you feel that gaslight going lower and lower? Huh, the light hasn't changed. It's all in your head. You see, Joe Biden just said. Uh, MAGA Republicans, they're, the, they're a threat to our democracy. They don't accept the results of an election. They must be done away with. They're radical. Well, his own spokesman has tweets refusing to accept Trump winning the election in 2016. And that's before all the fake mailboxes got put all around. Trump beat Hillary with human beings showing up, slapping a name and leaving. It wasn't until you dropped mailboxes, you sent 100 million ballots to people that are dead, alive, missing, illegal, legal, halfway legal, paralegal. And then people are just, and then late at night, uh, Trump is winning. Here come a bunch of ballots. I would love to see those ballots. Do you think they had time 
to punch Democrats all the way down on those ballots? Or did two or three million ballots arrive with just Biden punched in the top? Here, turn this one in. We found this one in uh, one of the drop boxes. Not a joke. Because they ran out of time. They did not think Trump's votes would go up from the last election to this. Even Barack Obama's election numbers did not go up from the first to the second. So she says she does not accept Trump's election. If Biden tells the truth, anyone that refuses to accept the election results is a threat to our country. He needs to fire his entire cabinet. Cabinet.